another day with Hunter. Our parents are at the property today. My dad's finishing up that driveway. Uh, so they're down there. He's working on that. Uh, I stayed the night with them last night with Hunter and Eva. And uh, so we're here getting the day started. Hunter slept in today. Want to tell him about that? Not like Hunter. The last time I think that this I was here with them, I think Hunter slept in, and I think I mentioned that in the video, but he was up late. Uh, last night, Hunter wasn't up late, so he just uh, wanted to sleep in a little bit. Mom and Dad gone, and to sleep in, so getting the day started now. Gonna grab Hunter some breakfast, and then uh, got some stuff to do. Gonna stay in the run, the chicken run, and uh, do that before my dad gets back. I got a lot of computer stuff I gotta get done. Um, but I was able to make, make some progress on that yesterday, so we'll see where we're at. But uh, it looks like it's another beautiful day. The weather's been great. And uh, yeah, really, uh, I guess that's it for the update. Um, as I pass the egg stand right now, um, we are, it got some exciting news. Kate uh, worked out a deal with uh, one of the Thai restaurants in the area. She knows the owner. And we're actually going to be giving them eggs, selling them eggs. So uh, we're going to be selling them in bulk quantities. So like seven to ten dozen at a time, I think. So uh, that's going to help because we have tons of eggs. I mean, we're getting 22 eggs a day right now. Um, I want to turn the camera on. The infamous stop sign. I came to a complete stop. And if you watch Outdoors with the Morgans, you know what I'm talking about. So I just wanted to... Uh, turn the camera around and show you that but anyways the eggs yeah Kate worked out a good deal and uh, we'll be selling some bulk quantity of eggs and the nice thing is that's really only like it's like seven dozens like three days of eggs right because we're getting just about two dozen a day so I mean we'll still have enough to sell to the neighbors and to whoever else is buying because we've been selling them consistently on the roadside um, just don't know who's buying we know one person because he's returning the uh, Returning the egg cartons. I couldn't think of the word. Yeah, so he's returning the cartons. So that's exciting though. So we got a good thing going, I think. We can uh, sell some to a local restaurant and uh, we can also sell it to the neighbors and still have plenty for ourselves. I'm really happy we got as many as we do now. Um, yeah, well, we're uh, almost a sheet, so we're gonna head in there and uh, get the breakfast. Out right, here with Hunter on a walk. These are the first acorns of the year I've seen. Definitely not ready. All right, we're going. But yeah, it's uh, August 26th. Couple more weeks, a few more weeks, these should be all over the ground. Also, here's a turkey feather. Hunter and I picked up someone. Come on, bud. It's crazy how slow the grass grows this time of year. I haven't cut this in a while. Yeah, there he is. Free range kid is what his shirt says. And that's what he is. It's a little big. Nice throw. You just missed Ty throwing some sticks. Hunter is long gone. He was not waiting. Um, what did I want to say? Oh, there's been a lot of great feedback on the Chicken of the Woods and on the uh, Ghost Pipe video. So as I was saying, there's been quite a bit of feedback on that. And uh, it's all been positive, so thank you for that. I'm glad that you guys enjoy those videos, because I enjoy making them, and it's stuff I really like. And if I can teach you something. So, I got distracted by some mushrooms. As I was saying, um, I appreciate the feedback. And uh, yeah, I love doing those videos. I'm planning to do a whole lot more of them. It's stuff I enjoy. 
And I, I think I really want to make kind of a big part of this channel native plants and uh, native habitats and the importance of a native ecosystem and uh, why we should why we should strive to have them. I got to catch up the tie real quick. Thank you. So I think I'm going to make a big part of the channel tie is what I was telling them. Native plants and ecosystems and the importance of it. Teaching you about individual plants, their benefits, you know, where they grow, how to find them, why they're important, what animals or, you know, insects, pollinators are dependent on that plant. And yeah, I think that's kind of going to be the direction of things. And also about the non-native plants, the uh, invasives, and that sort of thing, stuff that we want rid of. So I'm going to be teaching you a lot about that stuff. One funny thing about that is it does not do well. Um, <laughs> they are getting very few views. So maybe they're boring. He likes to do this where every once in a while he acts like he needs help to get over something. See, see you need help? Here. Oh. There you go. There was no other way around, huh? <laughs> but, uh, oh, I was saying that the views are very poor on those videos. And that's all right, because, you know, it's not about that. It's what I like. That's going to be the direction of things. I'm not going to clickbait the videos and, you know, make it make it seem like we found Sasquatch or something and everyone's going to want to click on it. I'm going to tell you what they are, you know, um, because I don't want to waste your time. So... Eventually, maybe more people will be interested and, and want to watch that stuff, but in the meantime, it seems like it doesn't do well on views, and that's okay. So, it's not, I'm not going to stop, though. So, you can keep that in mind that in the future, we're going to have a lot more of that. In the winter, it's probably going to be more so like evergreens, stuff like that, that you can still find in the winter. This is another thing. Shut up. He stops and goes, shh. Hunter's probably already at the house. <laughs> um, so I'm talking about natives, the future of the channel, winter, we're, we're going to be doing. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of a little update for you on the direction of things. We're going to continue doing stuff on the property, you know, with the animals. Hopefully, we'll be adding some new animals next year. That's the plan. Um, the chickens are doing great. Yeah, so that's kind of where things are going to be heading on our channel. A lot of property maintenance. And bear with me, you know, I'm not, not able to do everything I want to do right now, but in time. Been learning a lot more about uh, prescribed burns. Going to be trying that stuff out. Only with, you know, the right resources and tools and uh, the proper research, so don't worry there. Um, also, you know, herbicides, we're gonna have to start doing that because, you know, a lot of people don't like herbicides, but the truth is, you know, you're not gonna get, especially a property this big that is, you know, there's probably 40 acres of it is covered in stillgrass. You're not going to uh, solve it without burns or herbicides, so. That's where we're at right now. And uh, it's a bummer, but that's the truth, you know? And uh, we can either not use, we can either not spray or burn now, and five years from now, it's gonna be the whole property. And it's gonna cost a whole lot more than it would now. So that's where we're at. We gotta start doing something, so we're gonna do that. So another update on the channel. That's where we're gonna be heading to. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna flip over this log. I like flipping them over once in a while, looking for some, you know, salamanders, things like that. This looks like a good one. We just flip these two logs over, no luck. Um, I don't do herping nearly enough, and I believe that's what it's called when you're out looking for amphibians or even reptiles. Um, <clears throat> and you kind of have to do a good bit to have success, I think. Or, well, I don't even know if that's true, you just have to know what you're doing, and I don't. I know that they like hiding under these things, and on occasion I'll flip them over and look. So, no luck. We'll keep moving. This still grass is uh, no joke for Ty. Nice oak. Some ash trees. 
white snake root. What else we got? Some Montiflora rose, white snake root, Japanese barberry. There's a white snake root. There should be some white pine in here I planted. If it's not taller than the grass, it's difficult to see. I see a dead one. Where there's a dead one, there's pretty much always a thriving one right next to it. It's kind of funny how that's been working out. This is some hemp dogbane. Oh! <laughs> Fortunately, it caught me in the belt. Nowhere else, because that would have been a little painful, but... <laughs> Sticks are so much fun when you're that age, and even really until you're older. I mean, it's a blast. Playing in the woods. Sticks and rocks and forts. Ty's got a good future ahead of him. That's a big tree, huh? So there is one plant I'm looking for. I'll tell you a little more about. Found a, a few more acorns on the ground, still green, but uh, we're getting down. The hickory nuts are really falling, so I'm going to start collecting some of them, and uh, yeah, I'll collect them, stratify them over the winter. I want to get some acorns. Um, you know, red oak, white oak, definitely bur oak. We have a couple bur oak by our house. And uh, I think that's it for oak trees. Like to uh, not be in too far over my head and have you know too many trees. So I get some walnut, hickory. Probably we'll see. I'll definitely get some chestnut. Uh, yeah, I think that's it on uh, trees that I'll, I'll try to stratify this winter and get to germinate in the spring. Um, but I'm also be collecting milkweed. I already collected some milkweed pods yesterday, and uh, or the day before, and some dogbane, and uh, it was swamp milkweed. I need to collect some common milkweed because that those that's gone to seed now, so it's time to get those. Yeah, so I'm gonna be collecting a lot of seeds. Normally I wouldn't want Ty hitting these, but the snake root, it's okay. Cutting them back doesn't hurt them; they come back, and there's plenty of them. The snake root. Is a very aggressive native plant. Some people will think it's invasive. It's not an invasive plant because it's a native plant. It's uh, it's just aggressive. It can be aggressive, but it doesn't take over anything. All right, this video has been all over the place. But uh, walking the dogs right now before it storms. Maybe we won't get very far. I wanted to, wanted to check on the ghost pipe or Indian pipe and you can tell it is uh, really turning black. The stem's black. So yeah, he's on his way out. That, that one down there doesn't look great. So yeah, today's I think day five. So it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be gone soon. This one in particular, you know, there's gonna be more around here somewhere, but. Yeah, pretty cool, Piper. Right here, this is wild sarsaparilla, which I believe is uh, sarsaparilla is what they had used. They used the roots to make root beer, I believe. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that's that's correct. I haven't looked that up, but I just remember hearing this, and that sounds right. But anyways, th this whole area, there's a ton of it um, down here by the pond. And near these hemlocks uh, like here's a nice hemlock here so there's a whole bunch of it but right now you can see it's pretty cool looking almost looks like it's kind of sick but this is just part of it as the weather gets cooler I don't know how we can see that there you go it starts to turn yellow or red and so that's what's happening here you can see in here all throughout here all this yellow on the ground everywhere is that sarsaparilla what I'm going to do after this video 
Again, I apologize, this video is all over the place. Um, it's been one of those days. And I had Ty come over, so I didn't do some of the stuff I was planning on it. But, uh, and what I mean come over, I mean come over to my parents because they're gone for the day. But, uh, this stuff here, if what I'm going to do is do some research and see about making root beer. I think that would be really cool to, uh, make root beer. Oh my, did I hit the jackpot, guys. Check this out. There it is. Look, these ones are falling over. This is the ghost pipe, the Indian pipe. Look at all this. Here it's turning black, because it's probably it. But wow, there are so many. I had no idea this was here. I was just gonna talk about the size of this log, and uh, here we are. Wow, is that cool. But really, look at the size of that log, though. I mean, obviously it's been here for I would like to know how long this has been down. There's some more. Oh, that is such a cool find. I wish I had that when I did that video instead of just the one little example I had. But wow. So among all this sarsaparilla, you got a whole bunch of ferns, you got hemlocks, some big oaks over in there, tons of ferns, and then tons of Indian pipe, ghost pipe. Wow. I'm sure you can tell, but I am excited about that. That's a cool find. Yeah, so this sarsaparilla is everywhere. Pretty cool. And it gets a flower earlier in the spring. It gets a nice little flower on it. I might have a picture of that. Uh, I'll have to include one. If I don't have one myself, I'll find one and include it. I'll show you what that looks like. And the rain's about to start. It's nice, actually, through here. There's really no invasives in there. One Japanese barberry. Man, I mentioned earlier there was a plant I was looking for, and I see it all the time, except when I actually want to find it. And I uh, didn't have much time right now. Hannah's, not Hannah, Eva's at the house with Hunter, and uh, I was hoping to run down here and try to find some. So I just brought the sidekick, because it's faster. And of course, it's not here either. So, gotta find out where I see it all the time. Cause I know I see it a whole bunch. I think it's like somewhere on the other side of the pond. Big tree that had fallen down a long time ago. Some more chanterelles. Oh, it's really coming down. I should get out of here. Bunch of chanterelles in here, all through these ferns. They're just about past their prime. Okay, that's a leaf there. <laughs> but you saw, there are a bunch of chanterelles. Right there. And there. And there. Here. Man, there's tons of chanterelles. It's good to know about this spot too. Really wanted to find the plant I've been looking for. Such a cool time of year. You really find, I don't know, there's a lot going on between mushrooms, fruits, things like that. Not necessarily tons of fruit in the woods, but there are. Like this guy. It's one leaf, so it did not produce. This is May apple. This is what I've been looking for. We have it everywhere, except when I want to find it. I always wanted to try one. I love these uh, old, big logs. Just makes you wonder, you know, the stories these things could tell, how old this is. Cause some of these oaks in here are really old. I mean, this one here big oak but you got these ones that are even older because they've been on the ground for who knows how long all right should uh quit rambling and get back to the house eve is leaving here soon well i just got home from being at my parents last day 
I know Hunter and I were here earlier for a little bit, but uh, we're back. Ty's mowing the grass. It started to rain, which the grass doesn't need mowed, so that's good on Ty. You can see over here the whole yard's been invaded with stilt grass, so it's nice and ugly. But anyways, um, yeah, it's raining. The girls are outside. The kids have been playing with them. That's why Ty's all wet. And Thea, too. <laughs> but uh yeah that's what we got going on and uh i'm gonna show you here what we got this is what kate was doing the last what hour yeah while i was at my parents hi jake she did this in an hour she divided the door into two parts why'd you do that kate because i have a hard time giving them a leftover food and every time I open the door, they always try to sneak out, so... Right, I, I love just, it. I just want to divide it, open the top one, and then I can just throw it on the top. Yeah, it's a great idea, and I, not, I like that you put like a ledge here too, you know? Mm -hmm. um, we wouldn't leave this open, but it's nice tossing food in. The kids can help feed them instead of trying to feed them through the fence, or like you said, you open the door. Because we let them out a lot, they're, they're instantly out here, right? Mm -hmm. But in the mornings, we don't want to let them out because there's a lot of predators, so we let them out about four o'clock, I'd say, every day. And um, haven't had any issues with that. But like I was saying, uh, when you open the door, they think they're getting let out already. So this way we can open this up, toss the food in. It looks great. Good job, Kate. Thank you. Thea's gonna close it. Good job, Thea. Yep, and I uh, brought more of this rock over today. I was in a hurry, but I just tossed Bye. it all off here. Bye. So, yeah, we're going to be bringing that rock all along here, covering up the fencing, the wire. But here's the uh, rock we have so far down. We put landscaping fabric under it. I think it looks really nice. It's going to look great around the whole run. Probably be a lot of nice bugs in there for the chickens to peck through. I don't know who has better hair right now, Thea or me? Oh, uh, uh. Thea does. I get it, you have nicer hair. Uh. That's it for the video. Like I said, it was all over the place today. I apologize, um, but uh, maybe I shouldn't apologize because that's just what we got going on, you know? That's that's what we did and uh, yeah. Uh. Bye. I thought it was a good day. Uh, you know, we have a lot going on. We were all over the place, but uh, yeah anyways guys thanks for always watching thanks for all of your support and uh, we will see you guys in the next video don't forget to hit like comment below we love hearing the comments reading them and hearing from you guys and uh subscribe we'd really appreciate it uh that way you can see more of our videos so we'll see you on the next video say bye bye she's not gonna say it now ty say bye bye There you go. Go. Go, yeah. Bye. Bye. Good job. Ty. Oh, no. Oh, no. The free-range kid. Oh, he rolled down this hill, and he must be unconscious. Ty. Oh, no. It's so sad. <laughs> There he goes again! <laughs>